guys and welcome back to another video. So today The Sims has released a official gameplay trailer for Discovery University, which I wanted to go ahead and check out. There's about a minute and 40 that we can go ahead and take a look and dive into a little bit more of. But on their website, it says, Simmers, classes will be starting soon in The Sims 4 Discovery University expansion pack. To get prepared, let's take a quick tour of the University of Brychester and Foxbury Institute and find out what collegiate life is really about. So it looks like we're going to be looking into both. There's a little bit more that I can read. Um, at the bottom of this page uh, but we're gonna take a look at the video and then we'll dissect it a little bit more and see what is in store um, and uh, yeah let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, trailer Wow it's been a wild year oh, has it? I won a scholarship switched housing a lot had the worst roommate <laughs> now we're besties oh we moved off campus I fell in love, <gasps> fell cute. out of love, fell into something else. I took up sports, got the W, then joined the robotics org, found out robots got are to take over the world. Oh! No one believed me. So, I transferred schools. Decided to fade with more my speed. You a B debate on three. One, two, three. I got in tight with a study group. Turned out to be a secret society. Oh my god, looks like a class. cult. Keeping it one hundo, I got distracted. <gasps> Didn't go to class. Oh. And lost my scholarship. <gasps> oh no. So I took out a loan and joined a real study. Loans. Dang, she's doing this and has a kid. Life goals. I turned things around, knocked out my term papers, and aced my exams. Serious adulting. But if I'm gonna get a jump on my career, I should probably figure out what I wanna be. Lawyer? Engineer? Look, let's be real. I am having way too much fun. I don't want this to end. Got it. I'll be a teacher. Then I can party for days. Yes. Oh, we getting wild now. So, what do you think? <laughs> You're so right. This is going to be even better. Do you think it could be a mascot? Do they get paid to do that? Because I need some serious simoleons to pay off my loan. I think they're going to take my stuff. I don't want to pretend like I know how to run a bank, but... Come on. I'm still in school. I can't pay that off. Oh my god, I freaking love the voice actor for that. She's so funny. I mean, obviously those were lines, but like you can see the charisma behind her voice. So they mentioned loans for one and scholarships. So I'm assuming that we are going to be able to get the opportunity to get scholarships. And then we also saw a, I guess, a mom uh, going to university with her toddler. I don't know if that's actually going to be a thing where you can, you know, take your toddlers with you or what. Like, imagine if there was, like, a little daycare or something. That'd be really awesome, but I don't know if, obviously, that's the case. This is just me, like, spitballing out here. Wanted to go ahead and take a gander a little bit closer to see if there's anything else that we can spot out. Now, they did show um, the dorm rooms. So, we have a closer look at kind of the objects that we're getting here. Again, I didn't spot any bunk beds, so it's confirmed that Murphy beds are not included. I talked about Murphy beds in my last university video, so if you haven't checked that out, I'll link it down in the description and put an I button top right-hand corner. But it looks like we are getting uh, kind of like those typical closet dresser things that you get in university. Uh, we have the potted plants. So this is kind of like a typical university dorm room because then you have like this one dresser that they tend to have as well. I mean, I guess every university is different, but like the university that I went to, even though I didn't live in the dorm, I've been in the dorms, they had something similar as well. Uh, but we have like a whiteboard here, the cork board again, an apple clock looks like it, the mirror here too. This one looks like they're obviously into robotics. There's like bots here. There's, there's something here. It looks kind of like a satellite or something. Oh, this is an art student. Oh, this is her new BFF. I see a lot of base game stuff in here that I don't typically use, but is being used here. So, okay. So she went from dorms to housing. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be in the same town. Uh, the only thing is, is like... I still can't get over how much this world reminds me of Windenburg. Like, I really can't. Like, I wish that it was different, but, I mean, what can we do? Because, um, like, this spot literally reminds me of Windenburg. We have a closer look at the sports, which I did have see a comment. Somebody say that the sports don't may not be, like, an actual sport. It's just maybe you more so interacting with the ball so it's not like you actually participating in sports which um kind of makes sense because we only saw the same interaction with the ball each time so I don't know 
how that's gonna be or if this is just done the way it is for the video but it would be nice to have like a full-blown sport that they could play um, and you can actually be active in it and like watch it happen this I think this is really cool the whole secret society cult looking thing like I freaking love this they even have special masks. I really am interested in this whole thing to see what this is all about. Yeah, and then we have like this little dresser thing. I'm really loving these plants though. We actually have like cute little succulents. Like, oh, I'm excited for those. This is like a better view of the world itself. Definitely is giving me such Windenburg vibes. Obviously the structures themselves are different styles. So not only is this giving me Windenburg vibes, but like very European as well. So I'm curious to know if this is just like for the trailer itself or if you're actually, if you're, if you are a mom, if you can take your kid to school with you essentially. Is this a new bed or is this base game? I don't know. But this window does look new too to me. Wait, this hair. I don't think we've seen this hair before, have we? I don't recall seeing this before, but it is quite cute. I'm spotting an another top. I don't know if I already pointed this out before, but that one's cute. And then the guy over here, this looks like a kind of like a flannel shirt connected to a sweatshirt type of look, uh, which I don't remember seeing before. New lamp. And I think this desk is also new. Unless this is a base game desk that I don't recall, but I, that, that does look new to me. Oh my gosh. Damn, those nose rings are huge. I hope they're not that big, <laughs> actually, because that's massive. With this being shown, I'm wondering whether or not they actually have, like, a proper dining area because it looks like that'd be the case here because we do have, like, a proper um, food stand thing. I don't know what this is called, but, like, where you could grab lunch or something. So I'm hoping that this is actually a thing. I mean, it does say at the bottom right here, not all images appear in-game, but if this is, then... I'm gonna be really excited. Moving back to the website, so it kind of gives us a better description of each of the universities, which is kind of what I wanted to know. So, University of Brightchester. This bastion, bastion, I don't know how to say that, of higher education is particularly known for molding students into smart, well-rounded sims ready to face world's challenges. The University of Brightchester offers a variety of degree paths for its students, including distinguished offerings strongly focused on the arts and humanities. Degrees, biology, computer science, economics, physics, psychology, and villainy. Then we have distinguished degrees, which says art history, culinary arts, drama, fine arts, history, language, and literature, and communications. Wow. Okay, so there's so much here. Okay, I'm liking that there's a variety already just in Brightchester. What else does you, Bright, offer? On game day in the Bright Chester Spirit Corps organization, your sims can socialize, show off their dance moves, maybe do a keg stand, and promote dragon pride. If they want to explore their creative side, they can head to the canal by the commons for some outdoor figure painting with the art society. And they can socialize or go head to head with some of the university's best and brightest in the challenging debate guild, Foxbury Institute. Your sim may want to opt for a more modern campus focus on creating innovative leaders, and the Foxbury Institute should be a great fit. The premier university boasts impressive facilities as well as both events and distinguished degree programs geared towards science and technology. Degrees, art history, culinary arts, drama, fine arts, history, language and literature, and communications. Distinguished degrees are biology, computer science, economics, physics, psychology and villainy so they seem to share certain uh, degrees between both of them which I think is nice some of Foxbury's great organizations and events include the Foxbury Spirit Squad where your sim can don the red and gold to support their school at school spirit day with the juice keg juice pong and maybe even a little streaking when it's time to take a break from cramming your sim can attend a bar night with the Brainiacs Honor Society for a little rest and relaxation Want your sim to help lead the way to the inevitable robot uprising? <laughs> I love that. They'll love creating their future overlords with the bot set sa sa savings, 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 something. Um, and if your bot has what it takes to reign supreme in the Udily bot contest, head to the quad to enter and see if your sim will be the next bot master. <gasps> Wait, so like you can have like bot competitions? Okay, that's kind of cool. So then we can move on to financial aid, which is something that if you've been to university, you know you've dealt with and is very stressful, all that because college is expensive, as we all know. 
unless college is free for you or whatever the case is. But for me, it was very expensive. Um, so financial aid, whether your sim chooses the hollowed halls of the University of Brightchester with its focus on arts and humanities or the cutting edge Foxbury Institute and its science and tech slant, there's a ton to do, see, and learn as they journey through higher education. But before they start packing their bags, doing a little research on how they're going to pay for education is a good idea. There are tons of scholarships and grants available for both academically and athletically gifted students. Oh, athletically gifted. Okay. As well as need based scholarships. If your sim has already started down their career path and wants to further their education, they may want to consider a career scholarship. You'll be able to find out which scholarships are available for your sims to help cover their college costs. Your sims also have the opportunity to take out student loans to help fund their education, but be aware that payments will be due as soon as they graduate. Well, that if that ain't stressful, I don't know what is. <laughs> So then we have college life. Both schools offer students a variety of amenities and opportunities to live either on campus or off. Decorating dorm rooms, hanging out with roommates, or just playing a little ping pong are only a few of the new experiences your sims can look forward to. Need to study for a big exam? Why not join a cram session at the Commons? Don't forget to squeeze in some fun after school activities like joining the esports Ooh, or soccer team to put their skills in the spotlight or head to a spirit event at the bar dressed in their best school colors. However, while pulling pranks on the other university or doing a little painting in the park can be a lot of fun, don't let your sims have so much fun they forget term papers, exams, presentations, and homework. Let your sims get too distracted and their grades will likely drop, which could lead to big problems if they're relying on scholarships or grants. So, wow. That's actually really cool that they added you know, all that, that your grades can decay for not focusing on school and like the whole, I think the whole financial aid thing is really awesome. It's something different. We never really needed to deal much with that. And the fact that we have opportunities for scholarships and um, all this stuff is really nice. So, so far things are looking bright. Uh, huh, bright, get it, bright desert. Sorry, that was lame. But um, I don't know. I still obviously won't no more unless I get my hands on it and like dive in and we all experience it together. I don't have any other opinions on this at, at the moment because again, this is all we know so far. Let me know what you're excited for about this pack from what we know so far. I'd love to hear that in the comments, but yeah. So next week I'll be having university videos up for you guys because it releases on November 15th, next Friday. So keep your eyes out for that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye guys.